traveling to Monterey, Virginia, the actual birthplace of the Rough Grouse Society, is something I've personally always wanted to do. Back in 1961, three gentlemen sat around a table at a real estate office here in town and decided that it was important to conserve the future of rough grouse populations uh, for future generations. We did some research into the history of the Rough Grouse Society and we stopped by the county courthouse and at the clerk's office we actually found the original articles of incorporation with the original signatures that were signed back in 1961 and in that document it talked about the purpose of the Rough Grouse Society and it talked about things like science and forest habitat and sportsmanship and hunting and cooperating with agencies both private and governmental all things that were at the core of the Rough Grouse Society back in 1961 are at the core of the Rough Grouse Society now and will be in the future as well. We also went to the local newspaper office and dug through archives of original newspapers from the early 60s. And we found an interesting article about RGS being started here in Monterey. In that article, the writer refers to ruffed grouse as the king of upland game birds. And it's pretty amazing that that term was used in the early 60s. And I think this, a, a trip to Monterey and a trip to hunt in Virginia, to hunt in the Southern Appalachian region where RGS was started, could be a pilgrimage for other RGS members too. We didn't find enough habitat though, and that's one of the issues that's very, very important here in Virginia and in the Southern Appalachian region, is that we need to create more young forest habitat on public lands and especially on national forests. And that's something that RGS is really, really focused on, um, enhancing and creating healthy forest habitat here in the Southern Appalachian region. Where we found the habitat while hunting, we found birds, and we flushed birds, and we bagged some birds. Um, one of the gentlemen shot his first bird, which is always an epic um, experience for any grouse hunter, as you know. But because we found birds in the habitat that we found, it really proves that what RGS is doing is the right thing. Little known to them, RGS has grown from 1961 here in Monterey to become the nation's leader in forest wildlife conservation.